The woman is sitting watching the situation. She throws the money on the ground and asks if it belongs to the girl. She replies yes, and even offends the beggar. The woman says she is rude. The girl says she feels disgust for the woman. She points to the boy and says that this one did not pass. And he writes it down on paper and crosses the girl's name off the list. A girl arrives at the scene. The woman puts an expensive watch on the floor. She calls out to the girl. She says that she looks quite stylish. The girl replies that of course it is, because she is not filthy like the woman. She says she doesn't have to be rude. The girl says that today she is not in the mood. The woman asks if the watch belongs to the girl. She replies that it is hers, because it is imported from an expensive brand, and it could not be the woman's. She says it really must be the girl. She is rude to the woman, and says that there is no place for her to be bothering others. The woman comments that she doesn't need to talk that way. But the girl continues to be rude. The woman grumbles a lot. Then she screams for the man, and says that she also failed the test. Again, the man takes the paper, and crosses the name of the other girl, saying that daughters are difficult. The last daughter arrives. The woman calls her and asks if she has any alms to give her, because she is hungry. The girl says that she has nothing and apologizes. The woman asks if the bracelet is hers. She replies that the bracelet is expensive, and she doesn't like to wear these expensive things. The woman says it must be the girl's. But she says no, and suggests the woman keep the bracelet. The woman says it's not hers. The girl says to hold the bracelet, and if the owner does not appear, let her keep it. The woman thanks him and says that she will get good money. The girl says yes, and she needs it more than she does. The girl later says that she has no money, but she has the orange and offers it to the woman. She thanks her because she was hungry. The girl says anything you can call her will help. The woman praises the girl for being kind and not treating others badly. The girl says that's life, today it helps, and tomorrow she may need help. The woman says the girl is right. She says goodbye to the woman and wishes her a good day. The woman calls out to the man and says she passed. He is happy and writes it down on paper. The woman enters the room and says good morning, but ends up tripping. The two girls laugh. Then the kind girl tells them to stop laughing at the woman. Then the woman says they should know the reason for the meeting. The girl starts to say that her father has a habit of doing these things and asks if it will take a while. The sister next door says it can't be long because she's going to get her nails done. The kind girl asks to let the woman speak. Her sister complains and says it's always the same. The girl next door says that the sister is right as she is tired of these meetings. The woman says the meeting is about changing the inheritance. The girl asks if she needs this clowning to do this. The sister next door agrees. The kind lady tells them to let the woman do her job. They, however, do not listen to the girl. The woman asks the three of them to stand up. She begins to explain and shows them three boxes, tells them they must choose one, as each one contains a part of their father's inheritance. Then she asks each of them to choose a box. She asks the first to open the box. When opening takes a terrestrial globe. The woman says that the globe represents all of her father's companies. The daughter is happy to learn that she won her father's companies. 
The kind lady opens the box and there are several toy cars. The woman says the cars represent her father's collection of luxury cars, which are very valuable and rare. She says that's fine then. She asks the last daughter to open the box. Upon opening, she asks what that means. The woman says that she represents her father's best friend, her dog, as he loves him very much. But she doesn't like it. The woman says that her father valued the dog more than anything else. She says she doesn't want to keep any dogs and starts fighting with her sister over the companies. The woman leaves the room finding it absurd. Soon after, the kind girl tells them to stop fighting. The two tell the girl to shut up. The sister tells the girl to come to an agreement. And the two begin to decide who gets lucky. And the sister wins the bet. The girl says she doesn't want to keep any dogs. The kind lady says she will stay and tells her sister to keep the cars. She agrees and is satisfied. And the sister is happy with the companies. And they sit on the woman's return. She asks if the girls have decided yet. The girls say yes. The woman comments that she has a surprise. She opens the door and their father appears. The kind daughter gets up and hugs him. The two comment that she is a sucker. The girl asks if her father wasn't on a trip. And the sister asks why they are there. The man says he did it to find out which of them has a good heart and he is disappointed. The girl asks what he is saying. The man asks if the watch she took is hers. Her sister makes fun of her. And the father asks if the money she found is hers too. The girl also makes fun of her sister. The man says he is disappointed and praises the girl for not taking what was not hers. And he completes by saying that her kind daughter, who will keep all her inheritances. The daughter is grateful for the trust. The two begin to complain about their father's decision. The sister says she got the globe and the companies have to be hers. The father says that after what he saw today, they will not inherit anything from him, but their sister will. The daughters complain a lot and say not to do that. And the father completes by saying that they will no longer have their credit card. The daughter comments that she was going to travel. He says that now she's going nowhere. The woman is laughing. The other daughter says this is not fair. And the sister says that this is not done. The father says that now they will have to work. The daughter says that her father has no heart. The father comments that they don't even need to return what they picked up on the street because he is sure that now they will need it. The woman laughs at what the father says. The daughter asks what the woman is finding funny. Her father tells her to shut up and says that now her sister, who owns the companies, will be responsible for their salaries. They desperately beg the sister to be generous. The girl says she won't let them down. And then she says they're going to have to work at the company like everyone else. The two, however, don't like what they heard and say they won't work and leave angry. The girl tells her father not to worry because they are going to change one day. The father comments that he is very proud of the girl. The daughter responds that she wants to follow the example set by her father. He says he fought a lot to be in this situation today and thanks God for his daughter having such a good heart. 
The daughter says she is grateful for the way her father raised her and will make him proud. And the two embrace.